He learned the Vedas and had very good standard of behavior. He was very clean, very sattvic, and following everything very nicely. He, as he uh, became somewhat older, he was married also, and he was observing the rules and regulations of Vainashram Dharma. Still, it happened that one day, when he was in the forest collecting some wood for sacrifice, at that time, there was a prostitute, and she was meeting with a very low-class man. Both of them were intoxicated, and they were enjoying each other. As he was walking past, this scene caught his eye. He saw only for a second, for a moment, and he tried to look away. But he could not contain his curiosity, and again he looked, and he tried to look away. Then he left that place. But that thing that he had seen, he would not leave his mind. He wanted to forget it. He wanted to carry on with his very sattvic and peaceful and civilized life. But that poison which had entered into his heart through the eyes was so powerful. He could not uh, control it. He became weak. And gradually the desire sprouted and grew within his heart that he wanted to meet with that prostitute. So after some time, he left his family, his children, everything, and he met with her. But any prostitute, she cannot be satisfied without so much money, intoxication, gold and bangles and so many things, nice clothes. Now he left everything, how could he maintain her? So he was stealing, fighting, killing people, burning their houses, stealing everything and in this way, giving her anything she wanted. He was living with her, and after so many years, he had so many children by her, seven children. Then, in his old age, he was still making children more. His eighth child, he gave that child the name Narayan. He had some impressions from his younger age, so this name was attractive to him, he called him Narayan. So his whole life, many, many years, doing all kinds of sinful activities, leaving behind all kinds of civilized behavior. He was very, very sinful. So after many years, the time of death came. At that time, his youngest son, his, who was called Narayan, was a small boy, and he was very much attached to him. All the time, he would play with him, keep him in his lap, feeding him, speaking with him, laughing and joking with him. So when the time of death came, then he saw something very, very frightening, very terrifying. Three personalities, very hairy, with pointed ears and teeth, and blazing eyes, very violent looking. They came there and they grabbed him to take him to Young look. He became terrified and at that moment he called for his son because he was so attached. He screamed out, Narayana! Narayana! Four syllables. First, three Jamadutas had come to take him. Why? Because he had been sinful by his body, by mind and by words. But now, because he called out the name Narayana, Four syllables, four very effulgent, transcendental personalities appeared there. Their complexions were darkish. They were carrying this club conjured lotus flower with garlands and golden cloths and golden ornaments and golden crowns. And they appeared there at once. And they chased away and beat off the Jamadutas. The Jamadutas were astonished. They said, Oh, what are you doing? The Vishnu said to them, Oh, today, in a religious assembly, the most religious act is being perpetrated. What is that? A man who is innocent, who is sinless, who has no sins at all, is being taken to the abode of Yamaraj. When the Yamaraj heard this, they could not believe their ears. 
what are you saying? You are saying that a sinless person, an innocent person is being taken to the abode of Jamaraj. Don't you know this person is so sinful? He's done everything. He broke all the four little principles. Meat eating, intoxication, gambling, illicit sex. Oh, murdering, killing, stealing. He's done everything. Why are you saying that he's innocent? They, they told. No. He's completely innocent. Why? Anyone who takes the name of the Supreme Prosperity of Godhead, in any way, any way that they say this name, even one time, if they're saying it to indicate something else, as he was indicating his son, if they're saying it as a joke, if they're saying it inattentively, in any way they say, Vaikunta Nama Grahanam, the name of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Ashe Shagam Haram Vidu. You should know that this name is so powerful, it destroys unlimited sins. Unlimited. You cannot commit as many sins. It is not possible to commit so many sins that even one name of Narayan cannot destroy the effect of those sins at once. They became amazed. The Ajahnul, he heard all these things and he was put back in his body. And the Jamaluts, they returned to Yamalok. They were so upset. They were thinking, every day we do our business, we have so much fun going here and there, <laughs> ripping them out and sending them down to Yamaraj for the, to the Reform School of Yamaraj, I don't like to use the word hell. And there they undergo so many different treatments in the, the hell of Yamaraj. And no one can ever check us. No one ever checked us before. Because our Master Yamaraj is the Supreme Lord. Death is the Supreme Lord. No one can argue with him. So they're upset. How is it that today our service to our Master was obstructed? So they met with Yamaraj. Yamaraj told them, Actually, I am not the Supreme Lord. They were astonished. You are not the Supreme Lord? Death is not the Supreme Lord? No. Narayan, the Supreme Personality of God, He is the Supreme Lord. And the chanting of His holy names is the supreme principle of all religion. Religious principles are very difficult to understand. But they are being enunciated by the Supreme Lord Himself. And the Mahajans, such as Brahma, Narad, Shiva, Janak Maharaj, Palatma, Kapildev, Vyasadev, Shukadev Goswami, and myself, and Mali Maharaj, we know these religious principles. What is that? The highest religious principle of all is to render devotional service to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And this devotional service begins from the chanting of His holy names. So then the Jamalutas, they were pacified. Meanwhile, back on earth, <coughs> Yamaraj told them, if in the future you want to avoid this similar experience, then you should be very careful. You should observe this regulation what is that? You should not go to any person who wears tilak, who wears kantimala, tosi on their neck, or who chants the name of Narayan. Never go to them. They are not fit to go to my abode. Those who have given their obeisances to the deity of Krishna, even one time, you cannot go to them and touch them. So all of these activities of devotional service, which you may take for granted and think, oh, they are very simple things. Actually, they are extremely powerful. So in the meantime, back on earth, Ajahnu came back in his body. Now, he had had Sadhu Sangha. Association of pure sadhus. Who are they? The Vishnu Buddhas. And in their association, 
He had heard the glories of Harinam. So now he was very much convinced. He left all of his sinful activities, that prostitute, and all those bad associates. He left them. And he went to Haridwar. And there he sat on the bank of the Ganges. And having inspiration in his heart, and very strong faith in the holy name, being inspired by the association of the Vishnu roots, he began to chant Harinam. And after some time, when his chanting was mature and pure, then an airplane came down from Vaikuntha with those same Vishnu dudes, and they welcomed him and took him back home back to Berlin to Vaikuntha. Okay. 
के फर्श ने नमाबाज फर्श डन पार्टी नेवर न्यू जैक पार्टी में पार्टी नमाबाज पार्टी नेवर न्यू इवन नो रूल एट दैट टाइम बट इट एक्टेड एंड इट वाज एक्टिंग एंड ही बिकेम लाइक दैट इफ ए रोप इज बर्न and not this stuff then folly will be there see but it cannot bind anyone if it will touch it will be finished so namahas what it is all sense well bound but he never here he thought that i am a same person and doing Sins and bad activities. In this same way, we are doing Guru Dev Ke Hari Naam. At that time, in motion, but full of so many worldly desires, unwanted ones. But in chant it, the Guru Dev Ke Hari Naam of Krishna. Oh my! Not only Narayan, but Ke Hari Krishna. Himself, Krishna and Radhika are the very of him, and he created Shraddha, and he gave his design to Sir Krishna also. So you are your name is more powerful than that. I am. So why you are here, man? If his name without Guru in that bad situation, it worked. And in all sins were finished. But he was doing sin. But you should know that his activity, bad thing, sins, were like burnt rose. They can be burnt. You must have this knowledge. When you will realize? When you will realize? When? Four days will come, and you will see that you have put your face on the head from the cap. Cap. What? 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 What?
Can you show? Even if one is, is the most sinful of all sinners, if he is situated <laughs> most sinful, uh, so, and then if he is situated in the boat of transcendental knowledge or at the lotus feet of the Lord, then he can cross over the ocean of But the meaning of Anandabha? Only when Krishna Bhajde, no Devi or other. Only one who pointed to Krishna. He is going, Ananda Bhajan. And he has taken on Krishna. But his heart is big. And he falls down in bad activities. Even, oh, we should think him. What? Pure Vaishnava. Why? All his houses have been burnt. And he chanting. Or he was chanting. So his all sins are gone. And very soon he will be a very high cross of Vaishnava. But But we should see that whether he has done Vaishnava or Arma. If offense is the brain. <coughs> Even this pure name or Nama was not pure name, Abhas will also be gone. So we should see a thought. Nama Parat, Nama. Ajami has no Vaishnava. He has many shins. And that went. So, if a Vaishnava, not offensing any Vaishnava, Nama Para, and Apichya Sutta Raja, he is doing bad activities, bad, bad sentiment. Even then, you should see that all his sadhu rave. He is one pundit to Krishna. And even he is doing Namavas, our foundations are gone. But we are seeing him that he is even engaged in making sin, but he has. We should have a trust in or Gita or words of Krishna. Even demigods could not reconcile and they were in dilemma of what is this thing? And they could not reconcile. So they came to Sri Bhakti Thakur and told, please come to heaven and we have a council there, discussion. And please keep your idea there. They took Bhakti Thakur there. And he spoke about this thing. And he cleared everything. By telling this Upakhan, so many Upakhyam, like Azamila and others. And then he reconciled. So Bhakti Vinod has been more than superior, less and less and than then he was. He was real. He is real also. So we should have a very strong faith on these things. So Ajami, not initiated by any Paramarthi Guru. And he kept men. And he was in fear. Fearing, seeing three wives, a figure. And he Vibhas Hokar ke naam He took that man Narayan out of fear. And then what he kept at once? They call that three jump rules went and four associate 
face of Vishnu, Narayan ki. And thus, his whole love against came in his body. And he was hearing all the dialects between. And he heard all these things. And now he realized, oh, only by keeping the name of my son Narayan, oh, I was, I am saved by God, they. And my soul is here. So now he has that deep faith. And he took thought that all oh, these four, I am not associated, but they are giving Diksha, initiation. And he thought that they are my Guru. And actually this is, if an animal is giving Diksha Mantra and he is not qualified, his Diksha will not do anything. In India, we see, or the Guru gives the mantra uh, in ears and blow some air in their ears. And then they, they call, oh, this is Diksha. Really, this is not Diksha. But, oh, giving all the months with explanations. By hearing and this diksha. If not, it does not come in a day or in a minute. But but you are oh the school of that diksha. And when will be mature then your diksha is. When you have I have all the thoughts by here. So those who give not only mantra, but line of thought and so many tattva, oh he is really good Diksha. And that is why it has been called Diksha and Siksha. So who is Guru really Diksha or Siksha? who is giving the desire of to serve Krishna and helping in this way to take us to the Lord feet of Krishna or oh, really he is good. Even not giving mantra but giving this and what idea for to serve Krishna by open if a guru has given only months, but not all thoughts, everything really is not guru. Really guru who helps us in the service of Krishna, giving us in the Lord's feet of Krishna, really is guru. So, you call him Diksha Guru or Siksha But really who is giving a mantra and tells that who is the deity of this mantra? What is your relation with the deity of mantra? Or you should think that this mantra is himself Krishna. And you should have a very strong faith in this and be surrounded to this mantra, deity of mantra. The limbs of six limbs. In five arms, there is Sarnagati. And then, what is Sarnagati? Oh, Krishna can, this deity of this month, can set me, noise, he can, support me. He can save me, this deity. So, taking this thing, third, and or giving some relation with deity, and then prapatti, prapatti then saranagati, prapatti. He is my 
Atmosphäre. Man sind Atme die Wiedern. So fast wird die Mitte auf die Mantra gesetzt, die Relation mit Diti to the Disciple. Her for Bhakti, Nyash, Nyash means, oh, this is relation. And also, that even one time chanting of these monks can say Dhyan Dhyan. But we should try to do it ten times or one hundred eight times. I will do. You should do. This is called Nyash. Then Prapati Sarnarati means Atmanivedha. All five names of the Mansabhya. With them, you should chant. One point. Realizing the relation with that beauty. And meditating all these things. Then these mantra will express them, manifest in your heart very soon, otherwise not. If a guru gives all these things to any disciple, oh, he is real. Maybe Shikha Guru or Shikha Guru, who is helping in all means to a disciple. So, his guru was who? Ajamins? Oh, oh, best to do. He realized. And set from death. But how will be like then? How I can set my deity, mantra deity? That is Narayan. Because he was oh, telling Narayan. So Narayan was like this. Sometimes name is more powerful than mantra. Mantra can have give you relation. And when? By relation chant, chanting that mantra, you will take shelter of name himself. Then it will take you to Guru Vrindavan. The power of mantra and the exercise exercise doing mantra. Oh, you can go to Guru Vrindavan. It will open the door. And it will give relation and some idea, but mantra will take you there. No. Uh, no. And you can chant like even in Golo Vrindavan, but no use of remembering mantra in Golo Vrindavan when you are perfect. <laughs> so this mantra is this word giving relation to and some abhas of that world and your everything seen and all these things will go away but name can take you to and it can be open what is mantra not other than name only it has Something is needed. What? Om Namah Swaha. Krishnaya Swaha. It is mantra. And Krishna is Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna is the same thing. Sometimes we think that Guru has given me only <coughs> name of Krishna, Ma Mantra, Hare Krishna. Hare. But they are not given me three separate threads or oh, five, five after five six not done and I have not given second initiation. So I am third class over. Don't think. Guru has given them. That is Krishna and Radha he has given you. More powerful than mantra. But why name mantra is given? That a relation means come. If a girl wants to be with a 
what? In Indian, she can be. If she is not married. In marriage ceremony. And in a recent that sinful act. Not that so many children are coming and yes, no more fear. But in India it was not like that. Now some air is coming also there. So father and mother, they will donate to the boy. Why should we bury the chest? Girl should be chest. And they will donate by mantra. Oh, you are husband and giving my girl to you. You should accept. He will accept the Bible. And witness who will be? Fire, Guru, Brahman, and all religions. If you neglect anything, any of them, they will be charged. They will be punished for this. They will be wiped for it. So, this month gives what? Relation. And it can be only done in this shlok. Shadhan. Name is Shadha also. Month is not Shadha. Shadha. But name or without swaha, without home, clean, and everything. Oh, this. So, Hare Krishna. Oh, Krishna. Oh, Radhe I am taking your shirt in this way. From the country. So, a guru gives all these things, not in one day. That we get one and air in the ears. <laughs> By this thoughts. He develops the love and affection to Krishna. In to the disciples. So there are so many things in Ajami Pakhan. If by hearing, if a strong faith is not coming, then what is this? If you are going to school and college, that college and call a school will send you from death and all these things? Never. So you should have, you should have very strong faith in Ajami Kupatya. Told by whom? Sukhudev Goswami. Realize so. Not only that, oh, Krishna himself, like he can be like a jar. And Veda and Upanishad and Srimad Bhagavatam are the words of Krishna. So he is one to be happy in this life, in our life. Give up all the desires. Be like Gopra Shukras Baba Ji Maharaj. Gopra Goswami. And others. Don't disbelieve all these things. Have a belief on our Guru. Oh, he can say this. From faith and all ignorance and happiness. The school colleges will help him to go to help. Nothing else. You think that they will help? Oh, first is you are going to school, lust will come and let it and be let it come. What? Come, advance you and become from what they will choose. Oh, what is this? This is lust. And if your character is moral and character are gone, then what is there? <coughs> so, we need to inspection in Ajami Upadha. If a desire comes that I must suffer. Really, this is your strong faith. And if it is not coming, oh, due to your past activities, that question of and other things, 
you are not free of people, so I will get So my request is that, humble, that is the request, humble. Request. That you should believe it. in this, not a story, but fact. And try to do better. And they believe on our Guru, one of our Guru. And what Guru is telling is not his words, but his words of Krishna. Don't waste your time in other places. You should have a faith that, oh, my sins are gone. So, I should serve Krishna. I should chant for oh, if any desire is coming, worthy, and then loudly say, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare. This should be said. This yes, must be. At once run away to your Gurude. You should run away to any high cross of the Gurude. They will help you. Or you should tell frankly, Oh, good day. All these bad desires are coming in my heart. You should go to Dr. K. Penny. Disease is there. You must go to any expert doctor. And he will operate and he will. In this way. Don't delay. Don't keep it in your heart. And then your heart.
The king of heaven, Indra, being extremely proud of his great opulence, foolishly transgressed the law of Vedic etiquette. Seated on his throne, he was surrounded by the Marats, Vasus, Rudras, Adityas, Ribhus, Vishwadevs, Sajjas, Asrini Kumaras, Siddhas, Charans, and Mandaras. Huh? And by a great saintly person, over Indra's head was a white umbrella as effulgent as the full moon, fanned by a young tail, whisks, and served with all power of the a great king, Indra sat there regally. Then the great sage Rehospiti appeared in that assembly. Rehospiti, the best of sages, was the spiritual master of Indra and all the demigods, and was respected by the demigods and demons alike. Nevertheless, surrounded by so much opulence and worldly power, Indra's intelligence was bewildered. He did not rise from his own seat or offer a seat to his spiritual master, nor did Indra offer him a respectful welcome. <laughs> Indra did nothing to show him respect. Thus, following the instructions of Lord Brahma, the demigods, headed by Lord Indra, went to the ashram of the Brahmana Vishwarup. The merciful Vishwarup, 
agreed to become the guru of the demigods. He then composed a very powerful protective prayer called the Narayan Kavachu. As always, the advice of Lord Brahma has been sound. I am pleased to announce that following the advice of Lord Brahma, we approached Vishnu, and he gave us much power. By offering oblations into the fire, we have become strong again, and I have reclaimed my throne and my rightful position as the king of heaven. All glories to Vishnu. All glories to Vishnu. All glories to Vishnu. I am very pleased with him because he has offered oblations in the fire and taught me the Narayana Kavacha with this magical hymn, which is the very shield, the very armor of Lord Narayan. We have triumphed. All glories to Vishvaru. I'm going to see him now. Come, let us go see what he is doing. <laughs> yeah, he did. He broke the sword. What an incredible, <laughs> horrible, horrible thing I've done! Oh! Oh! I've killed my own spiritual master! <laughs> this isn't funny! I've killed my own spiritual master! And he, I am going to the hellish planets! What will I do? Oh, how horrible! Oh, oh! I can feel the sinful reactions settling on me like a heavy blanket. Oh, what a horrible thing! I must think how. Lord Indra suffered horribly. Lord Indra suffered horribly from his sinful activity. <laughs> for one full year. And then to purify himself, he distributed the sinful reactions among the earth, water, trees, and women. After hearing of the death of his son, Vishrup's father, Tvasha, began a fire sacrifice that was to give birth to a demon who would be the enemy of Indra. But because of a mispronunciation of the mantra, instead he summoned a demon who actually had been the great devotee to Tiketu, and who would be killed by Indra himself. Indra Shatru! Indra Shatru! Indra Shatru! Arise, O Vitasura! Suddenly a fearful personality I like to kill them. <laughs> who looked like the destroyer of the entire creation appeared. <laughs> and here on the demon Vitrasur's body, as well as his beard and mustache, were the color of melted copper, and his eyes were piercing like the midday sun. He appeared unconquerable, as if holding a clean world in the parts of his blazing trident. 
He seemed to be licking up all the stars in the sky with his tongue and eating the entire universe with his long, sharp teeth. Seeing this gigantic demon, everyone in great fear ran here and there in all directions, except for Indra, who attacked the demon Putrasura, accompanied by many demigods. Destroy all the three worlds to 
do not fear that he will harm you. He is also a devotee and will never be envious of you. Following the Lord's instructions, the demigods approached Adichie, the son of Atarvan. He was very liberal, and when they begged him to give them his body, he agreed. Thereafter, King Indra very firmly took up the thunderbolt manufactured by Vishvakarma from the bones of Adichie.